Hello there, this is Amy and today I am working with MailChimp automated email software. You can get an account for free with MailChimp but what I'm going to talk about today is automated emails and you do have to pay for that facility. If you've only got a few um, subscribers to your email list you'll probably start off paying around 10 US dollars a month and it is worth it for what you can do because it allows you to do follow-up series automatically. So what that means is when your subscribers subscribe to your email list you can specify when emails automatically go out to them to follow up with further information, to send them podcasts, to send them ebooks for free, and then to follow up again, perhaps a week or so later, and give them more information like an MP3 recording. And this is why it's so useful because think about all of the time that you use emailing clients and following up. If that can be automated, it takes away that job and frees up your time so that you can be more productive and, and use the time better for something else. So this video is for Isabel. Hi Isabel, thanks for spending such a great week with me on your social media and marketing training. It's been really, really fab. This one is for you. So first of all, what I'm going to do is click on automation. Bear in mind, if you have not already paid, it will ask you to pay at this point. But as I say, if it's a small list, it won't be very expensive. So automation, you're going to click here, create automation workflow. And first of all, you need to select a list. Mine is Trumpeter Media. And then I can decide whether I want to do a welcome message or whether I want to do a series of emails to educate my subscribers. Now, if you want to do just a one-off welcome message, this one is perfect because what you can do is set up an email, offer them a freebie to encourage them to opt in, such as a free web um, webcast, podcast, a free ebook maybe, and you can put that in Dropbox in a shareable folder, the public folder, and then you can drop that link in an email. So what will happen with that welcome message then is that as soon as you get somebody who subscribes to your website, they will automatically receive an initial email saying, hi, thank you for joining my website at blah, blah, blah dot com. Please find the link for your free podcast. So that's what this one is brilliant for. But what I prefer is to educate subscribers because with this, you can send a series of about five emails and you can stagger when they get received by your new subscriber as well. So let's click on educate subscribers. That's the one that I recommend that you're going to do. And I'm just going to call mine Trumpeter Media Introduction. And it's from me, and this is my email address. You can leave all those as standard settings initially, because remember, you can go back and edit these at any time you want to. So you click on Next. And I want to send people these automated emails as soon as they subscribe to my list, and also anybody who is imported as well. And then I click next at the bottom right. I'm now ready to add emails to this workflow. And I want to add a series of five emails so that I can help my new clients when they sign up with me. So what you can see here is we've now got what you call a workflow in MailChimp. And these are automated emails. Number one, number two. And these ones are actually already staggered seven days after. So what I want to do is make it so that the initial one is sent after just one day. And that the second one is sent one day after the last one. So what you're going to get here is this email is received on the first day. This email is received a day later, which is the second day. And then I want to send them uh, three more emails 
which will go out after a week. So there's a week in between. And it means that I can give information to my followers and my subscribers every week, which they can then use. So we've got automa automation email number one. And then I'm going to click in that. You can give this uh, a title. So welcome email number one. And then the subject is welcome to Trumpeter Media. And that's from me and that's my email address. And then I go to the bottom and click next in the bottom right corner. And then I'm going to select a template. This template is how you want the layout to be. Now if you want to click for a nice colourful one you just click themes and then you scroll through all of these nice ones, nice designs and you choose something that is going to be good for you. But for now I'm just going to do basic because I can always do another video about using the themes and design. It's really today just getting you set up with your automated emails. So I'm just going to choose the basic one. So this email is going to go to my subscribers so I can just get whichever whichever um whichever thing I need from here. So I can put a text block in there and then when I've got a text block I can type. So I can say something like welcome to Trumpeter Media and thank you for subscribing. Here is your free podcast on social media marketing. And then what I do to make this a link is I would highlight that, click the little link, and there I can put the address that I want them to go to. And you can see that it can be a file, it can be a link. If I linked that to a file, for example... I can then um, search files, I can browse for the files and then I can import something there. And uh, for you Isabel that will be your ebook. So that's how you do it, you then once you've written that you can save and return to your workflow. So your welcome email has been written you then go on to your second email and then in the second email you do the same again you click on it give it a subject what did you think of my free podcast so they've received my podcast for free now in the initial email and then on my second email this is following it up so i give that subject there I click on next at the bottom right. I'll go for the basic template again because I'm not going to spend time currently talking about design. And then I, I'm going to design my email here. Sorry, I'm just in preview mode. Going back, go to next. Select this one. Time to design your email. I want text here. And then, because this is my second automated email, what I want to say is something to follow up on the podcast. So, hello and I hope that you are well. Did you receive my free podcast? Okay. If so, how did you get on? And I'm going to just say... Remember that if there is anything you need help with, just call me on. And then I'll put my business number in here, 078 
3.8.3.3.5.2. Yours can be longer than this, I'm just demonstrating it, but then I would save and close. And then I'd return to my workflow. So what you've got now is two automated emails. Okay, your first one is the welcome and the second one is the automated follow-up. Your third one might be another MP3. It might be a website link. Your fourth one might be information about services that you offer. And your fifth one might be a final follow-up which could link to a product. So perhaps you've got the ebook that they receive for free, but then you've got a, a product that they actually pay for that you could advertise in your fifth email. So the whole purpose of this is to follow up for your, con your customers, give them the information they need, and give them the opportunity to book you or to buy your services. And that is, in a nutshell, how the automated emails work in MailChimp. So at some point, I'll look at doing another one about designing your email templates. But that should be enough for you now to get your first five automated emails set up and ready to go. Thank you and good luck.